on the bridge. I know. It has been too long for me to look how the world has stopped around you, for you. All of a sudden, you are someone. You cast your own shadow over our morning commutes, slowed to this instant, this precise angle of gleaming sun and asphalt and sticky mid-river June where you arrived at the cement balustrade of no more. No goddamn more. Maybe the water below is high for this time of year. Maybe you are a myth someone tells me over the counter at the coffee house. Or maybe that's not how it was at all. Maybe you got up this morning and went to work, same as always. Either way, no, there was a grandness in it, and someone will remember. Mm -hmm. This next poem is an acrostic poem, which is really not necessary to the poem except in one small detail. Um, the art in question was an exhibit at the Institute for Contemporary Art in Richmond, um, and particularly Rashid Johnson's monument, um, which was this huge sculptural exhibit that um, took up like a whole floor of a building and was filled with plants and books mm -hmm. and video screens of various activities. And one of those activities was men doing, I think, Tai Chi um, and the sunlight on the beach. Um, the poem is called Waxing On. We are each of us refugees from something. Even the men on the beach fighting sunlight, Zen and the art of predicting echoes. How violence almost rhymes with silence. Could if you squint your eyes. It's deja vu, like the dove on the windowsill outside the spare room. How I could lie and say I didn't call the cat to the pain. He couldn't reach her, of course, but shouldn't there be guilt for the flutter in her little gray breast? Here's the truth. Art is a mirror, a different reflection for every pair of eyes. Mm -hmm. Scientists claim there's an explanation for everything. These words are banned from poems and budgets and all legal documents except essays on graduate level metaphysics. <laughs> for fear they will transgender your language, turn the vulnerable butterflies of you into slow, solid meat. While you aren't watching, whole continents ghost down from someone else's idea of heaven. When you look up for salvation, it will have become just another melting fetal ice cap being born into a sea of dry cocoons. It happens on a tectonic scale. You won't see the salt levels rise. They'll leave lullabies from the skins of polar bears, leaving out the pink fists and God dreams of diversity. So you'll be left with so much more to forget, so much of entitlement, of science and evidence-based metamorphosis. Take your weak, your poor, your different, and shove them back in some other room. Yeah. I 
wanted to end on a positive note, because um, this is an uplift um, reading, and I really appreciate you, Paula, putting it together, and all of the readers, and everyone coming together. It's a beautiful thing. Um, and this is a true story. It's called Grace. The first time, he fell from the sky as if he didn't have wings landing on the burnt skin of asphalt just in front of John's truck. I watched the slow breath of his flightlessness that he didn't rise him, that he didn't right himself or rise away. So I shifted the heavy bag off my shoulders and squatted there in the middle of the road, reaching a cautious finger to the dry raindrops of his feet. He stepped right up and I bore him in past the curb and the low-falling brick wall, past the little weeping cherry, the two early chrysanthemums and their already browned blossoms, up onto the cool stillness of the front porch. We stood for a bright moment, even as the clouds gathered for a summer storm, he, his slow exhale of wings, his launch, sudden as smoke, off into the blue-gray of evening.